in exercise 4.5 we will get data from Excel from a specific worksheet that contains the postcodes and sales for Berlin. We load the data and then we will get to know a new visualization which is called Argis Map for Power BI. This one is famous for a few features that you cannot find in any other tools that we discovered. Let's start with placing postcode on location and sales on size. Probably at the beginning you will not get the proper results in the geocoding a field location can contain only one uh, one field, one column. But we can go now to the option tools in the top left corner of uh, Argis map and to the layer list and we can select the location type. We, you can choose either the boundaries or the points, but then you can also set the, it to one country, which in our scenario is Germany. And when you hit OK, now we can be sure that we have only the postcodes for Germany. At the beginning the map is grey, but still you can always change the base map to streets, open street map and many other options if uh, necessary. You have also a search icon that allows you to search for a particular address. But one of the features that is really, really interesting is the selection pane. I will show it once again with the card visual where I will show the total sales for Berlin. And now using the selection you can see that I select just a single postcode but we have something more interesting box select which allows you to select a particular part of the city and influence other visuals by filtering. Another nice feature is the ability to change the symbology of this kind of map. We start with location only we can change it to heat map that we saw already we can use size as we do now, but we have also something that is called clustering. And clustering is a really nice feature because when you zoom into the map, you get clusters divided into particular addresses and then you zoom out, you see only the clusters around. This is something that might be useful when you have a lot of addresses and you would like to see a short summary of your data. Let's go back to the size chart and the last feature we will discover is the ability to select points based on drive time or the radius area. First, let's start with searching for a particular address like the Berenstrasse in Berlin. Once we found it, we see a pin on a map and now we can go to the drive time option and choose this location and search for the radius of a particular distance like for example 5 kilometers or what is even more interesting a drive time for example 10 minutes from this point by car and when you hit ok you will automatically see which points belong to this area and which don't and now when you go to the select option you can see the drive time select that will let you select just this area and check what is the potential of the customers within this 10 minutes drive time.